One of the things that came up in the debate this evening was about how you define um, projects, and um, Vicky was um, talking about uh, defining them on the level of a, of a country. Um, other people wanted to find a level of detail. What's really, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think it has to be something sustainable. It has to be something that's manageable and, and can actually be implementable and meaningful. So at whatever level, uh, this particular dialogue, there was some divergence on, on what that would look like. But at the end of the day, the whole intent is to have a dialogue on something to make things better. And um, if you implement something that isn't, or you try to implement something, a policy that isn't implementable, then you're no further ahead. What's an example of something that's not implementable that you could give me? That has such a, uh, an administrative burden that the infrastructure, whether it's corporate or government, uh, enforcement, management, that just simply can't be managed. What's the, um, the position of your organization on, on this issue? Um, what, what, what would you like to, be, like to see done? Well... Representing the government of Alberta, I, I have to say, being uh, a very energy-focused economy, we have one of the high, most highly regulated, most transparent systems uh, in the world. And, and we've done that for a reason, because we think transparency is important, accountability is important, and so there are other jurisdictions that don't have that. And uh, I think there are some jurisdictions like Alberta that could be considered as best practice when it comes to transparency and regulation. Um, but certainly there's also the, the, the issues of uh, competitiveness. Uh, you, you want to ensure that you've got the right regulation. You want to make sure that uh, companies are being good stewards of, um, of, uh, of the uh, economy and of their shareholders and so forth. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a global economy. and um, And if you put in regulations that are uh, too cumbersome, the capital will flow to other markets. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what did you make of the European Commission's proposals, what they were talking about today? What, what were your feelings about those? Do you think that there are some things they really need to go back and look at again? Uh, what's good about what they've done as well? Well, I think it's a good start. I think what they're suggesting is, is very fair-minded, very balanced. Um, is it perfect? Likely not. Uh, can there be continuous improvement? Sure. Um, but you have to, you have to uh, start. Uh, and, and the whole notion of a level playing field, I think, is exceptionally important. And uh, ensuring that you're not disadvantaging any particular stakeholder group is also a guiding principle that has to be, uh, has to be part of the whole policy that you're trying to implement. To what extent do you think the um, opinion of the NGOs should be taken into account? You're talking about states and talking about implementation and you're talking about economic um, c capacity. What about the NGOs? The NGOs are, uh, NGOs are absolutely a voice in this and uh, they help provide balance to the dialogue. Uh, there, are, there are very valid points to, the, uh, to um, what they're trying to achieve in, in their ideas. Uh, and as long as there's good dialogue between um, the corporate and commercial needs of industry, which is driving economy, and uh, protecting environment, ensuring that people are behaving appropri appropriately, and that the policy is uh, being put in place to create the right behaviors and, and drive the right behaviors, then that's, a, I think, a very good way to have um, or to implement policy. So you need to ensure that at the table you've got many, many interests uh, represented, and uh, that is going to drive, I think, a, a very thoughtful and, and implementable policy.